Hey, what's up, Twitch? YouTube? This is your boy, General Freak. Bringing you guys another five-player... Actually, sorry. Let me correct. A four-player... World War Wednesday... Risk game. Xbox One Risk. I've been waiting forever, forever, forever... For a lobby. And I know I started around 8 p.m., but the Ubisoft servers have been down for like an hour, and I've been trying to get on and on, so I've got on. So I'm just, I'm happy with the four-player game that I got, considering what I had to go, the Ubisoft servers have been down forever. So let's get this going. I'm white player here, last to act. Looks like I kind of got North America here. Blue doesn't really got much here. Yeah, blue doesn't got much here. Probably just going for the easy one. Yeah, there in Siberia. Hmm. Crazy thing is, Green's kind of got South America. Green's kind of got Australia and South America as a. John Paul, what's up, man? Yeah, John Paul says, "Oh wow, you got a game, haha! <laughs> Ubisoft is up. That's crazy. That's pretty bad when it's like Ubisoft is up. That's crazy. It's like." Should be the opposite, you would think. But yeah, like, I just kept trying, like, oh, it exit risk, come back in, exit risk, come back in, and then, I don't know, I guess that's all I can do, but I did it for like half hour to 40 minutes straight. I'm really worried that it's going to disconnect from the game, though, but knock on wood. But, you know, Ubisoft servers might just go... Goodbye. I, I swear, I hope knock on wood. Please don't do it because I'm saying it. It happens so much. I know it has no power. Turn that ringer off. That's distracting. Interesting to see what everyone does here. What did green do? I see, okay, green just stacked up and, okay, got him out Australia. I don't know, if I was red or something, yeah. Like, it's crazy because green's gonna have, hmm, oh, I'm, white, I'm white here, last act here. Kind of a weird... I think red must be focusing Africa, green South America, but like... Nobody's going Australia is what... Mind boggles me here. Um, like I almost wanna... Like nobody's going Australia, what up with that man? Like you'd think red would dedicate there. Thing is if... You know what? I might be able to swindle Australia. This is a big risk, though. Nice. I need that. No losses up there in Japan to Mongolia. All right. Here we go. All right, really, it's what's what's everybody gonna do here, right? Nobody dedicated to Australia. They gotta understand that that's me dedicating, you know. Maybe I'm not gonna get contested, right? Green could just put three more there, like I would. I could get eight there and then maybe move in, you know, next turn. It's a big risk. I don't have much there. 
Let's just see what everybody does here and we'll go from there, you know? We got blue continuing to focus Europe. Green, I would. I would assume green is might go for it here. Yep. Yeah. Okay, green's gonna take South America. See, this is what I'm worried about. If green takes South America and doesn't really get contested, they might go for Australia. You know, they might dedicate Australia, but we'll we'll see what green does. Maybe green will think. People think that's too greedy. I think I'm just going to continue with the plan here. Because it's a big risk. I had a really bad... Um... I, like, basically I'm taking a huge risk to go for Australia here. Green could really just dedicate forces there next turn. <sighs> it's kind of weird. I kind of want... I'd almost want, like, blue to get Europe a little bit quicker. I, it all depends what green does here. See, it would have been nice for red to move those out. Let's go one dice roll here, Afghanistan, for the star. I just got to build up. I don't want to go in and lose a bunch. That's terrible. Okay, I'll stop there. Let's go. I got the six on one option up here. Ouch. One, one, two. Come on, baby. Nice. John Paul says, red equals Africa, blue Europe. Green is the only one you should be worried about. Yeah, you're absolutely right. It all depends what green's, green's going to do this turn. I mean, I guess I could kind of stack them to move out into Asia. That's going to... You know what, let me just end the turn, because worse comes to worse. I don't know. I should have maybe just moved them out. There's no way I can take North America now with green. I don't want to give blue, like, Europe too early either, but that might start a clash between green and blue. Like, I don't know. We'll see what green does here. It really depends on that, this the situation. Because it's a huge risk, right? I got drawn... A really crappy, crappy placement, but if I can get it, and I mean, maybe I should have just went for it, but yeah, John Paul, yeah, but maybe leave it in North America to make it tougher for Green to take north america if green decides to go for it you're right green you're right john paul green might be a very aggressive player early south america it's all about like a balance of power right blue takes europe and then green gets too aggressive and takes north america blue they'll probably clash you know i'm just hoping yeah dedicate dedicate i mean he does got quite a bit on his border so he's got to be a little bit worried Nice. I needed that. I really need red to just move those out would be nice. <sighs> 
Yes, you know what I mean? Did Green get two double stars? Like, that sucks, right? Because then Green might be like, oh, I can take Australia. Like, it's just more motivation for him to think that he can take Australia. Oh, this sucks. This really sucks. Hmm. If I end up getting Australia and I can hold it, then it was obviously it's all worth it, right? But I am a little worried. But maybe Green's going to focus North America. That's what I'm hoping for here, for Green to focus North America. Hopefully red brings those out, because then I can bring that four down. Really? Why would you do that? I don't understand. Two on four. It's mind-boggling. Nice, that's huge. At least that's huge for me. Thing is, I need no losses here. Uh, I'll accept the one loss, but like, let me just get them down there, please. I need every troop I can spare here, baby. Nice, six. I like to see that right away. I need every troop I can possibly spare. Okay, we got 13, baby. I might even trade in, like... <sighs> That's a huge risk, though. I'm gonna definitely push in next turn, though. I just hope I get, like, a double star, and then if I can trade in for 10, not then I'll, I'll eliminate green from there, and then... The good thing is green's not focused there. And blue player is already, like, working towards Europe, so there's bigger fish to fry. All right, he's got it. Wow. Blue player getting uh, Europe here. All right, okay. Okay, okay. <sighs> Europe with five stars. Wow. Wow. Okay. So that's good, because it kind of puts, even though green and blue are not directly connected, it kind of puts pressure on green to, like, be more worried about blue, in a sense. So, it's good for me. This is good for me. Yeah, he wants North America. I know, I know green already wants North America. I know it. I can feel it in his bones. Yeah. So that's good, though. That's going to keep the pressure off me. Big risk for Australia, baby. I, I hope it pays off. I hope it pays off. that's the thing like green could put five there and and totally ruin my plans so this is a big risk like maybe i should trade in almost but i'm gonna wait till next turn i'm just gonna go fast battle please rng gods be kind i need it if i need anytime i need rng it's right now okay i'm going to the dice rolls because i said that nice yeah anytime i need rng it's right there thank you perfect i can sit with 15 No double star, but... I think I have to trade in next turn. Regardless. 
just to confirm. So then I get blue out of the mix because blue is going to have five and nine, right? Like blue could totally. <sighs> See what blue does here. Looks like blue is in a defense mode. Nice. That seven there should kind of bug green a bit. I was going to say, don't hit. Why focus my four? Even though blue is just looking for a star. Okay, bring him home, I guess. Ooh, that would be good if green puts him. Yeah. John Paul says, wow, it's going pretty well so far. Surprised no one put troops there to make it harder for you, LOL. Well, you're in the weakest position anyway, so it wouldn't make sense. Yeah, a lot of people usually do become pain in the butts like that. But it wouldn't make sense strategically because they got, Blue's got to worry, they got to worry about each other right now. I'm just kind of slowly taking Australia here. It'd be crazy for them to like focus their trade in on like eliminating me there. See, do I trade in six stars? Oh my gosh. Anyone's coming for me, it's probably green. So maybe I should try to eliminate green here. It's kind of risky. Like, I almost should just go for the... F the problem is, if I go for the trade-in, I eliminate. But... Then if I lose a lot... I think everyone's playing pretty tight. If I lose a lot, then I'm kind of screwed, you know? Then there might be that chance for that counter. I think I, I, I eliminate green here, though. If ever I needed RNG, it's right now, baby. RNG gods, I'm praying to you. If I ever need RNG, it's right now. Yes. Like, I think it's almost in my best interest to... take out green here just to be safe okay let's see how this goes because i if this doesn't go well nice that's what i needed to see right there you know if i lose six there then green has motivation to to take me out right you know now green's got to come from the other side of the world i mean red could still That's a thing. Should I? This green's got to. Oh my god! I'm this far now. I should have traded in. I actually should have traded in here. Um. I can't really leave right here with six stars. Oh god. I really should have traded in there. Actually, I'm I'm really weak. Actually. I don't know what the frick I'm doing, man. Ah, I'm so... Man, I'm so... I'm actually so foolish for not trading in there, man. Like, if I lose here, I completely deserve it. My opponents are playing pretty tight, so... I was just thinking to take out green, but it actually makes more sense to just take them all out. But I should have traded in. Trading in for sure next turn. Oh, man. See, everyone's playing pretty conservative, but that doesn't mean that red's going to be like, okay, I got six. I can just take Australia, you know? Dang, man. Dang, what am I doing, man? I don't know why I didn't trade in. I'm playing so, like, that's really dumb. 
Green's not much of a threat. It's more like red. Because red is right on me with six. Oh my god. What am I thinking? What's up, Salty? Yeah, I got the face cam on. What are you saying, man? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Red 6 is blocked. He could put him on that one, though. I mean, he's got kind of fish to fry, so I'm just... I'm hoping. I'm, I'm praying. I'm praying. Please don't. Please don't. Oh, my God. He's thinking about it. I'm so dumb. I'm so dumb. Man, what a risk. Why would I not... Why would I... You know what I mean? Like, all of a sudden, Red could be like, Oh, I could take Australia here. But then he we then he does leave his borders weak, right? His borders are very weak. It would be a bad risk. I'm just saying it would be a bad risk, but like people would be like, oh, 19 on 11, that's good. But it's like, no, you got to go through four more territories, right? You got to defend Africa as well. Nice. Thank God. What a risk. <sighs> Nothing to get the adrenaline going like that, huh? No, nah, he's going to defend. He's going to play the smart move. That's what I would do. I would not take uh, Australia there. Oh, my gosh. I got to trade in, though, because I need to fortify <laughs> Australia here. Dang, man. <sighs> yeah. <sighs> the only reason I... Man, what a risk to take. The only reason I took that risk is everyone seems to be pretty, like defensive player so i can kind of take those risks if someone was aggressive if you were more aggressive then i would consider not doing that but thank god <sighs> look at this cow everyone's at like close to 50 right i need a trade in i need the uh i need the insurance here 15 baby let's put 22 i'm gonna move You know what? I'm going to do 25 there. Put the 25 big ones there and uh, go for my star in Northwest Territories. Go to the dice rolls. Like, thank God I'm playing with good players, as funny as that sounds. Like, because then I know. <laughs> then they're not going to go for a stupid, like, trying to, like... Because then as soon as he takes Australia, if things go bad, or even if he takes it, he's sitting with five defending Australia, and then his borders are all eights, you know, against Europe and South America. It wouldn't make sense strategically. So this should show them that I'm getting out my troops here, which what I want to do, I need to... Yes. Yep, good call, John Paul. That's exactly what I was thinking. John Paul says, yeah, blue's in the continent now so they can defend North America from green so you can get out into Asia. Yeah, and I need those out into Asia for sure. Nice. That's perfect. This is working out well. Wow, the big risk for eight, uh, for Australia. The land down under, the big risk. You'd have to be like. Ooh, blue's moving him out. Green's got seven. That's okay. Green's playing pretty aggressive here. The nice thing about Green taking North America, it's the thing about nice thing about Australia. It's it's like it's almost not your duty to break anybody because look at all their borders. They're all on each other. Blues on red, reds on green, green like they're all their borders are all connected, right? Even if Green takes North America, that there's always a good chance. Not that it will happen for sure, but there's a good chance there's going to be a clash between them, right? 
So I'm going to continue the plan. Escape to Asia. Build up my troops. Wait for those border borders to build up. See, that's the thing here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Greenland for my star here. And then I'm going to bring them back. That kind of frees up blue as well. Not that it really matters, but if blue wants to hit green, it's possible for the next turn or whatever. Not that that's a big deal, but I'm also just looking for my star. But then I'm going to move them all to Alaska. And uh, next turn I'll go into Asia. Green's got that three there, so... Bring a few more troops to, to confirm. Nice. It's a good game so far, though. This is a really good game. I know I, I've seen... I've played with DDR before. I played with... Uh, Triple 1914, right? Green I don't think I played with red, though. Sizzlax. I never played with Sizzlax, as far as I know. I know I've seen DDR and, and Triple 1914, because I made the comment last time. Because 1914, big, beginning of World War One, right? The Triple Alliance, right? Germany... Austro-Hungarian and Italy, the Triple Alliance, right? That's kind of what... And then the Triple Entente, um, Great Britain, France, Russia, right? And that's kind of the... F I don't know if he's referencing that. That's what I get. I see Triple 1914. I think of Triple Alliance and Triple Entente. Yeah, John Paul says, it's, yeah, it's a good game so far. It would have sucked if you had one or two Rage Quitters. Yeah, especially on a four-player game. That would suck. But yeah. Yeah, that would suck. So this is a great game. I'm actually really enjoying These are the games I, I long for, honestly, to be honest. But, uh, yeah, it's just a cool name. Like, I just, I thought that was a cool name, right? World War One, right? The Austrian hug... Like, basically how World War One started was, like, the Duke of, uh, the Duke of, uh, Austria-Hungary was murdered. His name was Franz Ferdinand. He was supposed to be the Duke. He was murdered by a Serbian. And, uh, what happened was, um, Austro-Hungarian started to attack, uh, Serbia, right? And then Russia came to their defense, and then Germany came to Austria-Hungary's defense. It's just like World War One started just like the the bully. Like I'm gonna get my brother to beat up your brother. My brother's bigger than your brother, right? My brother's Russia, and then Austria-Hungary's. Well, my brother's Germany, you know. And that's kind of how it <laughs> whirlwind into World War One. If you think about it, I always think of it as like the big brother complex. You know, it's kind of like it's crazy for that to happen like that. It just started from some fella named Franz Ferdinand, who's going to be the Duke of Austria-Hungary. Got murdered by some Serbian, and then Russia backs the Serbians. Germany backs Austria-Hungarian, right? Right? And then the Triple Entente, war with Russia means war with France in England. It took England a little bit of time before they came in, but they eventually came in, right? It took Italy a little bit of time to go with the Triple Alliance, right? Took them a bit of time to come in, but eventually they did. The Triple Alliance, the Triple Entente, they came together, right? And it's it's interesting to see how World War One uh, unfolded, right? John Paul said, yeah, the North American continent would be so different if the World Wars hadn't happened. It's interesting to think about. Think of how much people migrated. You know, obviously, Christopher Columbus and all that history, right? People came down. 
But think of how many people moved to North America during World War One, World War Two. Lots of people coming over, man. Lots and lots and lots and lots, right? Yeah. No, my uh, like, like I'm I'm half Italian, right? So, like, my no no, my grandfather, he was a little boy during World War Two, right? Yeah, yeah, John Paul makes a good point here. And the world wars got the economy booming. The thing is, war is amazing for the economy, right? Amazing. Every single person is working. They need tanks. They need bullets. They need guns. They need personnel. They need so much. They need clothes. They need, like, just the logistics is insane, man. That what they need. How many people? We need everything. Go, go, send everything to Europe. Get everything as quick as you can out to Europe immediately. It booms. It pew, pew. Economy's growing when that's it's war. I mean, it's it's sick to think, but it this the ra reality, right? Economy booms during war. It's just a fact. Um, I mean, prolonged war then it has the opposite effect, right? But um. Yeah, no, my my Nono had some uh, pretty crazy stories, man. When when he was alive, of being a little, he was an orphan too. He was, um, he went through some of the bombings in there in Italy when he was a young boy. He was just a little guy, man. He had some crazy stories, but um, I think the craziest story my Nono ever told me was um. He's like, I don't know how what age he was. He must he must have been young, maybe ten, maybe like, maybe early teens or something like that. And uh, he was in an orphanage with a bunch of nuns, and uh, uh, there was bombing. I can't, I don't know what year it was exactly. Um, but there was bombing happening where he was, and um, uh. The bombs actually, I guess he was in this orphanage. It's like a school slash orphanage. And the water main got bombed. So, like, there's water leaking everywhere, right? And they're in the basement, right? The bombs are happening. They go down to the basement for shelter. And uh, they're in the basement there. Oh, my God. I'm not even paying attention here. I'm getting so into this, this story, but. <sighs> okay, okay. But, anyways, to finish the story, <laughs> I'm just, like, realizing I'm getting so into the story, and then I'm looking at what's happening on the map that Green's got North America. I'm not even focusing. Let's see what Blue does here. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep some on the border here. But, basically, the water main broke, and the room they were in was flooding. And... And it's just a bunch of kids, right? It's just kids and a few nuns, right? So you could imagine the panic, right? The water's filling up, uh, the, water's filling up the room. And there's bars on the basement window. So, like, they couldn't get out of the windows. So I guess my Nona was saying that these nuns, they had, like, a veil around them or something like that. Like, And what they did was they actually took two, grabbed my Nono and grabbed another kid. And they tied them up to the bars, like, on the window or something like that. Or tied them up somewhere trying to remember the story exactly I'm pretty sure they tied them up to the bars on the windows while everyone else was there like swimming right so they were there for like 24 hours like I don't know I forget how long it was I said it might have been a day or two it's been a long time I was a little kid when my my grand no no told me the story right if I talked to my family I could get more proper details so he got he just got grabbed tied up to the bars and another kid got they took their veils off, tied them to the bars, and he said, it's kind of, it's really sad, man, but he said he watched every single person drown. People were just treading water for as long as they can. We're talking about maybe two, three days, right, till there was, like, a rescue team that got him out, and they got him out and this other guy out. He's, the, both the kids survived, and, uh, man, it's just an insane story, man. Like, 
to see everybody drown and like not only that to be like 12 years old and seeing like everyone you're in an orphanage basically perish in front of you you got man that's just that's something tough to go through man and my nono was like the happiest guy you've ever met man like he was just like you wouldn't believe how happy this man is maybe he was grateful maybe he was grateful for what he went through and he's seen what life how precious life really is, right? Like, I've never seen the guy angry in my entire life. Like, when I was growing up. Like, he just he just was just happy, I think, for everyday life. Like, he just appreciated life more than a lot of people. Right? When you see something like that, yeah. John Paul says, after living through that, yeah, exactly. Got a new appreci appreciation for life. Oh, he definitely did, man. Like, and it was just so crazy to hear that, man. Like... Who knows, man? It's crazy. It gets you thinking, right? Like, what if that nun chose another kid or something, right? Like that, like, or something, right? That's just going to change. That always blow, blew my mind thinking about, like, time-space continuum and, like, what would have happened if this or that. Like, all these little effect factors, right? Like, maybe I wouldn't even be alive, you know what I mean? Maybe, like, it's just, I don't know. It's just insane to think, man. It's just legit insane to think. So, anyways... Butterfly effect, exactly, John Paul. It, it's crazy to think, right? If my nono perishes there as a boy, like, I never exist, right? Like, that's just, <laughs> you know, it's just crazy. Anyways. <sighs> Fuck, that's one he hits me deep, man. Fuck. All right, let me get my composure back here and, and actually focus on the game. So a lot has happened. Green bl broke blue. Red broke green. Um... Let me focus on... Yeah. So, like, this usually happens in Risk, right? People, the, the tension points start to break one another, right? Green got too big too fast. Green broke blue first. Then red decided to say, hey, green's getting too big, which is good. I'm going to kind of keep pressure on green there in North America, too, if I can. You know, just to kind of keep him on his toes a bit. That might make blue feel comfortable about breaking green here as well, right? Can't get big too quick. That's the problem. Green got big too quick, right? And if you're playing against good players like we are, they ain't having that, right? Blue might be out for, for some vengeance here. Come on. Yes. Nice. That's what I need. Green broken everywhere, right? Nice. Yeah. It's perfect. Every John Paul says, everyone breaking each other while you're doing stuff in Asia. Exactly. I'm still keeping that pressure on green. Blue is upset about that, though. Blue is very upset. I mean, it's kind of just red. So, blue with two stars. I got to keep a track of what everyone, how many stars everybody's got here. I need a big glass of water. I'm like... Whew. So, yeah, I think that's a good play on green. Fold back. I just feel like green's kind of gonna be out for some revenge here or something, you know? I don't I don't know exactly. They still got more troops than I do. What's red got? Red's pretty big, 72. I got 55. Red's pretty big here though still. Red's pretty big. I 
actually, let me... Seven stars here. I gotta be. The good thing is, blue, I guess, is the only one that can really mess with me. This is good. I think red and green are gonna clash here. So, this is good. So red and green clash. So now it's like I almost Draft phase. green with four. Attack phase. Blue with three. So what I almost want to do. Red Draft phase. Let's see what red does here. No, red plays it smart. Nice, he's building up on green. I like that. I'm just going to take the star in Alaska. So what I'm thinking here is I want to give green motivation to maybe take back North America, right? Because then that's going to almost guarantee that red's going to hit. Like, I'm just gonna kinda get those out. See, I'm in a really great position where I can basically wait till 10 stars here. Red with only two, right? Red very low. I think blue has four or five now. Green has four or five. He's gonna keep building. Red's playing very smart. I mean, not focusing too much in one spot, keeping the defenses. I like the move, I like it. Let's hit up your cuts here, taking a few losses. Ooh, there's a the double star baby. Oh. 
So green's probably crazy enough to go for North America again. Which I, I wouldn't if I'm green, but the green might build up here slowly. And that's kind of what I'm doing is I want green to take North America back. Because I know blue and red are not going to be having it. So that's why I kind of came off his border a bit just to... Oh yeah, he definitely wants that. Yeah, he definitely wants it. 100%. Red was 70. Yeah, he's got 12 there, actually. I didn't even realize that. I mean, if he puts the extra troops there on North Africa... See how I'm keeping Red uh, landlocked there, basically? Never freeing up India or Afghanistan or anything, right? That's what I want to see. So I'm going to trade in for 10 big ones here. Let's put 10 on your cuts here. Let's put at least like 60 or something. Let's do 65 actually. Yeah, like that. Double star right there. So red's got 94. Red would be slight superpower, even though I have 97. Red has a few more stars than I do. And is getting 7 every turn. So red is still the superpower. That big 35 is... Look at this. Me, blue, red. Even blue and red are... Oh, blues was six. Actually, sorry. Blue is the superpower. Then red, then me. Like, I'm actually... I'm actually the third superpower. Blue is definitely the superpower with Europe. It's actually a really good game. Dang. Blue is actually massive superpower. Seven stars. You know Green wants to do it. You know Green wants to take North America again. Yeah. <laughs> John Paul makes a good point. You are just a power, not a superpower. Yeah. That's basically what, what I am. I'm still in this game. Don't get me wrong, but I'm not the superpower. It's actually blue and red who are the superpowers here with... Oh, red's just trading in here, so red's going to have one-on-one. -on -one. So red's bigger than me. Not by much. Me and red are basically the same. Blue is, is superpower, though, for sure. Like what's I got one star, red's got one star. He's got 100 troops, so I got 97. He's got a few more territories than me. Red is slightly... In front of me. Please attack them. We have captured Mongo. 
Yeah, third place out of the four powers. Yeah, everyone's pretty much a power here. Green is definitely like 62, but it's got a big trading coming in. So green is... It's pretty close. And the reason I kind of want, like, the reason I want Green to take North America back is I know it's going to cause tensions between blue and green and red and green. And Green's gonna do that and just and now has 10 stars. Wow. Oh boy, oh boy. You would think green green would like trade in and then try to take it, but that's a big risk. I mean like frick, man. It just creates a lot of tension, right? 38 on 20, 23 on 9. So tempting for red to break. Is red going to do it? Wow, red's going to do it. He's got the 10 on the back burner there too. Like it, he just can't go, he's gonna just bring him back, right? Right now his border versus blue is gets weaker. You know, red, I don't know. Maybe red forgetting that green has 10 stars. I don't know. It's hard to say, right? Make it look like I want to break North America. Not that I do, but it at least looks like I'm... Yeah, I'm part of the team, guys. I want to break North America with you. But you guys waste the resources, not me. I'm more just like, I don't want to piss blue off with eight stars in Europe. I don't want to think I'm making like an aggressive move on him. Oh, green, yeah, blue. Is blue gonna go for the takeout? Yeah. Yeah, blue has a lot of stars right now too. Yeah, right. Seems like no one is gonna break him. See, like, if I left them there, Blue would definitely want to stack up Russia. Which he still might, but... I just really don't want to take China and India here for my stars. That's the thing. Okay, he's going to do a middle defense. So green, 10 stars, getting North America. 
That's okay. Green's really far behind, as you can see. Blue's got 130. Even with the 30-star trade-in, like, green is still not much here. No way. Green's out for revenge, for sure. It's like I almost should just break blue here. If green's gonna hit red, I almost gotta, like, just break blue. It's got to be pretty pissed about that, I would imagine. Problem is, I need them to be focusing blue, not one another. Oh, God. Maybe I should just break blue here. It's it's vendetta mode. It, it set it off. Fuck. That's what I mean. Now it's basically between me and blue, right? Maybe I'll just throw these on Cam Chakra for the hell of it. It kind of looks like I'm making a play for Asia. Maybe that will stop the vendetta here. I almost when if red hits um it would be nice to come from that 19 though I'm not going to lie I mean blue's got the counter attack Are there. That sucks. That's what I'm saying. If red. Fuck. <laughs> John Paul says, but breaking him might activate Vendetta. He might be right, but. I mean, honestly, if that Cold War happens between Brazil and North Africa, that 45 on 43, I kind of have to break. I know, like, I would have to break and then at least sit my 70. Yeah, I, I might wait because... See what goes down here, because if red expends that green saw is North America, that's still kind of a a thorn in blue side. But I might just be patient a little bit longer. Doesn't look like red's doing it, so red's not doing it. So that kind of changes the plans, right? Oh, never mind. He's just waiting. Holy moly! That's the problem. Blue has way more, right? Fuck. And now I have to cut myself off. I can hit China, but... I still have my gate out to blue, but... I 
might make Blue worry a bit, but that's okay. I have to. He's got 135. He's got the advantage here, you know? Is he gonna do it? No. Fuck. Blue's just too big, though, man. Look, he's too big. I gotta, I gotta knock him down a peg. Plus, I can't really draw for a star anywhere else, so I kind of have to hit from that twenty-six. Would be ideal, you know. Thing is, Blue's gonna take it right back, but at least I. Man, Red is on full vendetta mode, bro. I can't block that 70. I need that 70. That's the problem, is I need that 70. I'm screwed now. I need that 70 to punish blue when I when I need him need it to, you know? Fuck. This is actually a really tough situation. I almost have to come out with that 70 and then bring him back here. Break that 31 and then bring him back. But like you said, that might activate Vendetta. But look, 142. 142, man. He's too big, man. He's too big. That's the problem. He's too big. Yeah, they're just going to come with that 26 or whatever and, like, reinforce it, but... <sighs> I have to. I have to come with that 70 and hit him right now. Fuck okay, it. I have to. I have to. That's the thing. He's going to take it right back, but I, I'd rather be on... Wow, thank you for losing five. That's perfect. Let's hit the 31. I'd rather be on the attack die. Oh my god, I'm getting horrendous RNG though off the hop. Come on, man. Come on, no more. I can't go lower than 35, baby. Come on. No more losses. Please, God. Please, RNG gods. Ugh. Right? Now, like, now here comes the counter probably, but that's okay. Sorry. It's okay. I have eight stars and can only come with one force. I'll be all right. Well, actually, oh shit. I think he could come with two then. Fuck. I could get really fucked here, but. Oh shit. He could come with two forces actually onto my 37. I didn't even think about that. Let's see what blue does here. Fuck, I had to, though. I have no other option. If blue hits me, that's a smart move, right? Fuck, maybe I should have traded in, you know? Nice. Maybe I should have hit with that force first and then brought him back, you know? Nice. That's actually super huge for me. Blue lot lost a lot. Nice. Right now, where, where is his defense? Right, he might vendetta, but nice. That should piss off Red a little bit. Oh, 
fuck, is he just gonna give up Europe? What the hell is going on here? Wow, nice. Lo a lot of losses. That's what I need. Holy fuck, this is a whole new fucking game. Green's the fucking superpower now. Holy shit. I just thought blue would most likely just... What the fuck? What the fuck, man? Oh my god, you get broke, man. I just... It's like, man, I don't know. Some people are just so funny to me. It's just like, that's okay. I can break green in North America. Some people are so funny to me. They get broken once and they lose all composure. That's what happened. He got broken once and he lost all composure. At least he's going to probably hit green. He's probably going to break green though. I've seen this happen so many times. People get broken once and then he loses all, he just rages everywhere. Or he's like, because white broke me, I'm going to try to get green to win. Or like this little kid shit. We'll see. Maybe he's attacking. Okay, fair enough. He's attacking from all sides. So that's what we need. We need North America to get broken here at least. I do have a big trade in. Oh my god. If he quits before next move, it all resets. Yeah, I forgot about that. You're probably right. He's probably going to be like, I rage quit now. Oh my god. He's going to do that, isn't he? Oh, no, he didn't. What a nut bar, man. At least it was not a pure vendetta, though. So, he just lost composure. Okay, fair enough. It wasn't a vendetta. He just lost composure. Which is... Good, because Vendetta is just like, you know, he just gave up basically, but he made it even. So that's kind of nice. So what the fuck is going to happen now? Like, I got to obviously break fucking green, trade in and break that 10 for sure. Okay, who's next? The good thing is I still have that 30... Like, I'm still nice and pretty in Australia. That would have been... Oh, four to five phase. Yeah, we're good. I mean, if I got to come from around the world... Yeah, really? Okay. Right. If red hits green here, though, like, that's going to be huge for me. Which might happen, actually. Or nice. Red might break them North America. See, the man, so much has changed. I had to do that to Blue, though. He had, like, 40 more troops. Like, I had to make that move. I had no choice. Yeah, as long as... Yeah, John Paul makes it... Only, green is only a slight superpower as of now. As long as North America keeps getting broken, yeah. I'm gonna trade in and put and 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 sit them in North America. I think red is gonna go for blue stars, I guess. Okay, for two. Okay, interesting. Hmm. I find this to be a very weird move, but I mean, I guess you're gonna get two stars and a lot of territory, but. I guess he's going to leave some back. Oh, God. I would leave like 10 there. I'd be so worried. But, yeah, I probably would leave 8, honestly. 8. Like, red gets it. No losses. As I say that, I've seen horrendous RNG, so. Uh, the good thing is, I think he might plow into green afterwards. Let's see, though. If red's smart, like, red will just maybe put him back into North Africa.
Okay, that works well for me. Fuck. Actually, green's got that 56, though, but... Okay, this is really good for me, though. Him hitting green like this. Wow, green's fucking big, though. 83, though, still? Holy shit. Fuck. How many stars does green have? Man, he's still got fucking... 25 troops more than me. I needed that. Holy fuck. At least he's gonna pressure green. Fuck, he might... Like, green might just take out red here. Holy fuck. Like, fuck, how many does he got? Holy shit, man. Fuck, I gotta trade in here, man. He could fucking take me out. <laughs> fuck, I can't eliminate red here. Red's kind of, like, on my side here. I gotta trade in, obviously. Hmm. Fuck. Like, do I just... I almost want to put them all here, hit the 10, and drive into that 56 with everything I got. Like, I won't be able to kill the 56, but, like, that fucking 56 is probably coming for me next, you know? Fuck. Or do I go from this way? And drive into the 56, you know? Mm, maybe that's a better option. And then I... Fuck. Yeah. I need to just... Fuck. I need to drive into that 56 and just hurt him as much as I can. I won't be able to break South America, but... I need to fucking hurt that. I can't with my 37 stuck there, but that's fine. Even if he counters the next turn... Fuck, I gotta hit that 56, man. That 56 can... Oops. Okay, four. Red's with got four. Green's got four, too. Holy fuck, man. Okay. It's my only move, man. I gotta hit that and then expect the counter attack next turn. And hopefully RNG's kind. If I can take him down to, like, 30... Come on, baby. Give me some good RNG here, baby. Nice. Take him down to 30, baby. Take him down to 30. I'm happy with 30. I'm happy with 30. Come on, baby. Nice. Even Keep bringing him down, baby. Bring him down. Bring him down, baby. Bring him down. Nice. That went so well, man. That went so fucking well, man. Fuck. I couldn't ask for better RNG. What a fucking move, man. What a fucking move. So he's got four. That means uh, seven. Plus South America. Nice, that's fucking fantastic for me, man. Man, when the RNG is good, man, the attack dice is strong. That's why I had to hit that force, right? Now I'm not gonna... Fuck, man, that's so fucking great. That's the RNG I needed, too. Now I got that 20 troop advantage. He is gonna trade in for 10. But now I need to get this 37 out and maybe leave, like, 10 behind in here. And then even if he comes around, I have the counter. Because he's gonna trade in. Four, which is seven plus two in South America that's nine so he's only gonna get 24 there yeah let's do something like I really don't want to lose Australia here maybe I leave 15 to for sure have it you know because then he can't yeah yeah you got to get some of that 37 active too yeah for sure see i want to do 15 because then he'll he won't break it i need to hold australia for sure okay let's be really safe 23 active is pretty good i'm in a good position here right because he, even if he comes to try to break me
Nice screen king. That's awesome. Oh fuck! If I I should have left five on his border there, right? Because then it would he would have been hard knocked for for a star here. Green's like playing it smart too, saving up for stars and shit. He has to, he has to, you gotta get a star man, you gotta take that one. Fuck, that's what I mean, if I left like five there, like, and he lost a lot or something, for a star, you know, cause he has to get it. We still got a game here, I'm not, like I do have a huge troop advantage, but. Ooh, nice, that might anger Red. I could see totally see red breaking. Oh, this is fucking fantastic. I might be able to take Asia with that 10 coming down. Fuck. Oh, this is fucking fantastic. Red's got enough. Like, red should take back Africa realistically or something. But man, that's a huge prick move though by leaving those in there. Like that, that was not a good move on Green's part. Red and Green gotta work together against me, right? Because I'm the superpower now. Yeah. But Green doesn't understand. Leaving those troops in Europe and Africa are gonna piss off Red. Like, like I kind of don't blame Red for that because Green's being a piss off. So Green does get 10 here though. Green does get 10. Fuck, maybe I just smash green here. I just fucking take everything away from him. Like, I just come in, hit the 4, hit the 3, hit the 8, like, hit everything and leave the 5th. Uh. Actually, it's probably easier to come from north. Yeah, no, I gotta hit him. Cause then I just, even though green has five. I still have 15 there, yeah. Then green has nothing, right? And then he trades in for for 10 and then can't break my Australia. The key is as long as I keep holding Australia, like I'm good. Like, I might even just go straight down to the three and not even care about that four, just in case I get horrendous RNG. Like, I could leave that four, but then I know four, like 14 for him to go through one, two, three. Like, he could break me, but. Oh, fuck it. I I'd rather him do that, yeah. See how I lost a bit there? Like, I'd rather just for sure break him here. Oh my god. So that's fucking horrible. So that's why I didn't hit that four, because now I'm like fucked. Holy shit, man. That's actually terrible. That's actually fucking horrible. Holy fuck. John Paul says, never contend with a man who has nothing to lose. Yeah, right? Well, like, by doing that to Red. Fuck, this really sucks, though. Now it's f fuck. I still got a lot, but fuck, man. That, like, fucked me. Pretty good. Fuck. Fuck. I can't believe that, man. That's crazy I didn't go for that four either. You know what I mean? Like, I could have easily went for that four. I bet you Green's going to be smart and not, like... Fuck. That really changed the game, right? He's got five stars. He could get six. Fuck.
Alright, whatever. I'm going to end the turn. I'm going to leave this six up here in the north. Oh, we still got a game. Like, that would... If I broke South America there, like, we'd be fucking game. You know what I mean? But now we, like, we have... I do got 17. Oh, it's got fucking six! Oh, my God. And he's going to fucking save, uh, save it, too. Oh, fuck. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, fuck. This is horrendous, man. This is literally like the my worst nightmare here. But you know what? It, it's all kind of fair. Like, he got... I got really good RNG, and then I got really bad RNG. So it kind of, like, worked out, you know? At least red is still Vendetta. <laughs> That's helping me. Fuck, no. I got 17 here. That's good. Does green have 11? Okay, not enough for the bonus, but see, do I take Asia here and then force them? No, 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 like kind of force them to trade in. Fuck. You know what I mean? Like, I'm kind of. What did he get? He had a double star there or something? Fuck, I didn't even see what he got though, but like fuck, I got I kinda have to protect Australia somewhat here. What's he fucking got? He's got seven. Holy fuck, alright. I needed a double there, maybe. I just gotta... Oh, fuck. Alright, fuck. Like, he trades in for 30. He's right fucking back in this thing. Man, I can't believe. That was literally, like... Fuck, just don't give him the fucking double, man. Don't give him the fucking double. I need the double here. That's 25 if he gets the fucking double, you know? Fuck, I mean... Yeah? Nice, no double. Red player. Draft <laughs> Red's on the vendetta. Like that all green has to do is move them out. All green has to do is not be in Europe and not be in Africa. Fuck. Fuck, I almost kind of come... Fuck, that's 20, man. He's got fucking 20. If I take South America, that's 23. He breaks me Africa. But then I'm building up. See, I'm almost seven. See, I'm getting a lot here. I'm getting a lot. I need to break South America here, though, for sure. Yeah. 
Faked it, yeah. I gotta keep the fucking pressure on green here. Even though I know the big trade-ins coming in, it's like, what are you gonna do? Fight my 10 in South America, or... Oh god, okay. Or like, fight my 6 in South America, or go across the world, right? Right, I doesn't get the territorial bonuses. He just gets... See, I almost want him to trade in now, right? And expend his, uh... Expend his forces either on my 6 or from the 2 to my 18, right? But then I got... 4 stars at least next turn to kind of fuck with him. Okay. Mr. Salty says, yo, Fortnite today. Uh, I used to get always stream World War Wednesday just because Ubisoft servers are up. Uh, I might be on later on. So what's Green going to do here, right? Is he going to drive me out with that six, which is probably the best move? You know, see, I did want to put like 10 over here because that's what I thought would make... Uh, would make sense, right? Or does he want to break me, right? He's got a decision to make here. The thing is, I almost want him to break my 18 because he doesn't get South America back. I trade in, take back Australia. You know, f roughly. Like, roughly, that's probably what would happen. And then if I, he, he's got zero stars and I can trade in and take back Australia. But see, this is kind of what I don't want to see. Because he might try to take North America or something right now. But yeah, Salty, I might be on playing Fortnite later, but we'll, we'll see. Right, he's going to try to hold North America here, which I obviously have to fucking break. Okay. Nice. Lose him. Lose him. Lose them. Now we're pretty even, right? What do I have? 16 still. That's pretty good. The nice thing is I get to see what red does. So red's probably going to break North America there. Nice. Which will bring him down to 13. But I almost want to take away his... Nice. I needed that. If he gets... I think if he gets one more, right? So if I take two of greens away... I almost gotta like bring a bunch out to pressure green here. Let's go to the dice rolls. Hopefully this goes good. Come on, baby. One and one. I'll take one and one all day, baby. One and one all day. I'm okay with that. So I might get one or two more stars, and then I might make, like, a push for Asia here is what I'm thinking. 
the thing is, now he's got 12. So if I take one more, then he's only getting the South America bonus. So he's only getting five if I take one more away, right? Ouch. Come on, baby. Nice. So I'll leave 12 there still. I should have left 10. This green can't really mess with me. No one can mess with me. Should have just left 10 there. All right, so now he's only getting 5. And for him to get a star, he's got a... Really? No star option, huh? Okay. Wow, no star option, huh? Wow, that's... A a fatal mistake. Fatal mistake. Red Draft phase. Wow, is Red just gonna keep focusing fucking... Green here? Like, the Vendetta is so real, man. Like, Red... Like, this could have been an actual game if Red, uh actually like started playing strategic wow the vendetta is real man that's what i mean like this would be an actual game if like red was just like stop the vendetta like all you had to do was stop the vendetta it's like no, red is on full vendetta mode like, I can understand a Vendetta for maybe a turn or two, but, like, whole game Vendetta? Nutty, man. This is why I, this is why I tend to be, like, a lot more passive than a lot of players, because sometimes you just string a cord on someone. Like, what I had to do to Blue is I had to do that to Blue, because Blue was being too much of a superpower, right? I had to do that to Blue. But luckily, Blue vendetta it all around. He was like, oh, he got me. He broke me. But man, like, I don't know. Because what Green did, there was a certain point in time where Green left troops in Africa and Europe basically denying Red from getting anything, which was not needed. Like, Red, sh Green should have defended. I mean, do I just take Asia here? Like, I think that's my best bet. Like, green's not taking anything. Like, I trade in for five. That's 18. I just fucking... Take Asia, right? Yeah. Oh, shit. Yeah. I mean, I just fucking come down into green and end his life. Is really what I do. Because then it's just... I got so many territories, right? I just take away... Then I just have so many territories. It doesn't even matter about, like, taking Asia. If I just shatter green's dream here... Then it's over, right? Then what's green got? No, like they have nothing, right? Five troops, fourteen troops, doesn't even matter. They're we have Draft 
See, now what's green going to do? And now I just pressure red. And it's over, right? You know, I take Asia. Yeah, I probably hold it anyways. But then green's going to try to attack. If I just literally take away anything green can attack with next turn, then he can't attack me with any forces. You know what I mean? I basically get the better RNG of the attack die by just eliminating his big forces. Right now, there's literally easy ones everywhere. There's nothing. You can't even get a star. Now what? You know, and now what's red going to do? Red's going to get four, but, like, what's red going to do? Yeah, John Paul says this is a satisfying win. It really is, actually. It really is a satisfying win. That's what I mean. Sometimes, like, yeah, I could take Asia there, but it's like... Like I said, I just prefer to, like, take away your troops. Like, if you have no troops, then what do you... You have no influence, you know? Oh my gosh, red's still focusing, like... Right? And then, like, yeah, I got Australia, and I got 23 troops. I'm gonna get, like... What's that? 12, 15, 8, 18, 21. I get Australia, 5, and... Or, sorry, uh, plus 4. So I get 9 anyways. Australia, plus my 3, plus 4, right? Like a 7 for territories, and then 2 continent, right? So now what? Now I can take Asia, sure, no problem. Or I just take out green. Sure, I do that. Man, this is a really satisfying win. That was a great... That was a great move on to blue to just, like, create this whole... That whole shit that went down. That was just a fucking fantastic move, you know? Oh, shit. I guess... Red does have three. Doesn't matter anyways. I mean, to be the best strategic move here would be to just take him under 12. He's got 14, so I want to take three more away. Yeah, I mean, I could go over here. Whatever. I mean, I could, just because I'm so low, I could l let him have, like, the one. It doesn't matter. I have too much of the world anyways, like... You know what I mean? He's got four, 14 and 3. I got 43 and 4 stars. I can't hold anything. Man, this is a very satisfying win. It all started from that blue break. Blue was just pulling away as a superpower, and I'll just... I just did not let that happen. And then blue lost composure and just changed the whole game. Like, I didn't expect that. I thought blue was just gonna... Okay. Like, and I was gonna respect blue's Europe. Like, if he was just like, yup. Like, I'm gonna take Europe back. Then I would be like, that's fine. That's what I expected you to do. But, like, just to totally hit everybody and like lose composure but it happens so much it happens more than you think john paul eh? like you know what i mean like so many people lose composure so many people vendetta that's why i pay so play so passive because you never know when you're gonna just strung, string a cord and like someone's vendetta in you the whole game and like sometimes there's nothing you can do like i will break someone because i have to strategically then I'll totally back off and give their continent back and not affect them, but then the vendetta continues, right? But a lot of times people will back off the vendetta if you start giving them the respect, right?
sometimes it doesn't matter. The vendetta is so real that they ain't stopping, but sometimes they can stop, right? Screwed that up, but that's okay. It's okay. I'm just. I'm slowly just picking away at red. At this point, it doesn't matter if I'm making mistakes and stuff. That was crazy to think, man, that Next turn for sure, I got him. Oh, he is twenty four. Nice, another one in the box. A little four player game. A little four player game, you know? This was a good one too. I, I really like this one a lot. It was a good risk game. Every, a lot of the players stayed till the end. I got a message from uh, Sizzle here. I'm guessing it's a GG. Let's see what he says. GG. Give him the honest GG back. That's it, another one in the books, baby. General taking down another one for the books. Like you said, John Paul, this is a satisfying one. People played hard. You could tell people were good players by them playing smart, defensive. Took that huge risk for Australia, huge risk. Ends up paying off, picking up the dub. Congratulations, General. You have defeated your I think I might call this one the big Australian risk because that's basically what it was and that was the uh, That was that was the deciding factor. If I could take Australia, I knew I'd be good there. Nice, GG, GG. Nice. All right, guys, on YouTube, please comment, like, and subscribe. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. And uh, make sure you guys tune in next time when your boy, General Freak, 
takes over the world. <laughs>